Hi folks, we're going to take a look at a cross knee pass, no gi style. So Kelvin's down. We're going to take a look at some options here. So just say I've broken my opponent's guard. I like to hold on the hip here and stay tight so he doesn't bring that knee around. If I'm just like this, sometimes he brings a knee around or pushes, whatever. So when I'm here on the hip, go ahead, bring your knee. See how I have my elbow right here? And then I like to switch here. I bring the right knee across just like this. I block with my head here. Okay, sometimes what's going to happen is as I'm trying to get here, you know, it'd be great if I can get the underhook every time, but let's be real, you know, some guys are going to be good here. So they have the underhook here, okay? So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to come down with my right hand. I'm going to put my palm on the mat here, and then I'm just going to hold and pressure down just like this. So it's like I put a wedge underneath his back here. I hold. Look at my right hand. It's right around his hip here, just like this. And then I can go to however, whatever techniques I like. If the guy is up, and I don't get it to this point, I'm not on my toes, then I'm gonna have to come around and switch and look toward the back and stay tight, okay? So it's just an example of a uh, cross knee pass. Some other options, when the guy is deep toward the belt with that left hand here, if I can push back and come in, that's great too. Sometimes I'll lean my weight to the right and then fight this, just like this, and then come under here too, okay? But if he does beat me here, there's a couple options. I can either step around, but here I'm just going to come here. Boom, maybe even hook up a choke. But I'm just going to come here. I'm going to lower, drop, get on my toes, and then come here. And then my right arm blocks the hip. Set myself up for arm bars too, kimuras. Boom, different locks. All right. Thank you.